I guess the na- the main talking point I really want to start with today is how differently WWE and AEW book their World Heavyweight Champions. And as I do a comparison here, I know that some of you are going to immediately get mad that I dare do a comparison, and you're immediately going to hear what I say and presume that I'm burying WWE. But in fact, I'm not. So just listen. Kenny Omega and Jungle Boy had a World Championship match that was great. And it was exactly what I figured it was going to be going in. I talked about this several days ago when I was talking about the skit that they did backstage with the golf cart and Kenny Omega and Jungle Boy and how wacky it was. And I said, I think what they're doing is they are setting you up to think that you're just going to see a nothing happen in TV match. And then what they're going to do is they're going to go in there and try and have a match of the year. And I don't think it was a match of the year, but it was a great match. It was a really, really great match. And Kenny Omega went in there, and he sold, and he sold. And he gave Jungle Boy like 75% of the match. And Jungle Boy had him in a snare trap, and it looked like it was over. But Kenny Omega raked the eyes and pulled the hair to get out of it. And ultimately, at the end, he beat him clean, which I figured he would have done and he should have done. But it was amazing to, to watch that match and see everything that Kenny Omega did for Jungle Boy, and then compare that to what WWE does with Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns, literally, literally the the storyline on SmackDown is that he has wiped out the entire division. He has destroyed everybody. He's not out there doing matches where... You know, he faces Kevin Owens, and when when the match is over, like, Kevin Owens is at a higher level than he was when he went in. Rey Mysterio goes in hell in his cell, and he comes out looking better than he did before the match. No. Roman Reigns goes in there, and granted, he will have help here and there. But regardless of how the match is, is booked, like, when it's over... The challenger is where they were or lower, and Roman Reigns' storyline has destroyed everybody. Now, of course, the end of SmackDown, the angle was that Edge came back, and I guess Edge is going to be his next challenger, even though he stacked up Edge and Daniel Bryan like Cordwood at uh, WrestleMania and beat both of them at the same time. So I don't know why you did that finish if Edge is going to be the next challenger. But the point of all of this is, it's not that I'm burying Roman Reigns, Because the fact of the matter is, if you're doing a storyline where Roman Reigns is better than everybody in the company by leaps and bounds, but the story is that eventually a John Cena comes back and you do huge business for John Cena to see if he can beat Roman Reigns, and then later on down the road you bring in The Rock and you do huge business because people want to know if The Rock can beat Roman Reigns, if you build up a guy like Roman Reigns and you draw huge money booking like that, great. So I'm not burying the way they're doing it. I'm just pointing out that what they're doing is very different than what AEW is doing with Kenny Omega and the people that he faces in the ring as the champion. So anyway, I liked the Jungle Boy Kenny Omega match a lot. Mike, what did you think of the match and the show? I I thought the match was awesome. I I really did, and I thought the show itself was really good as well, too. You know, it's that same philosophy WWF has had for years. You know, it, 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 it's it's Hulk Hogan against Ric Flair. Look at how they booked Hulk Hogan compared to how the NWA would book Ric Flair. And there were pros and cons to both of those things. But the difference is Hulk Hogan had a line of contenders that people wanted to see him face up uh, uh, against and i don't know if wwe has that now considering they keep going back to recycle things and i understand that you can draw big business with john cena with the rock with people from the outside of course you can but where are your threats from inside and there's always a happy medium and i think we've moved to a point where you know it's okay for the champion to give the challenger a lot more especially when that challenger is as close to Ricky Morton as I think we've had in 30 years. Uh, There have been great plucky babyface underdogs, guys that are young guys on the rise that that get a shot early and you can see how they're going to develop. But Jungle Boy is the closest thing, in my opinion, to Ricky Morton as far as watching people get behind him, people believing, even though I don't think that there was anybody really believed deep down in their heart that he was going to win that match and win the title. 
I think people were getting into it is there's a possibility that could happen and they let themselves kind of at least what it felt like the, the crowd felt like they were letting themselves get into it and falling into the story and I thought they pulled it off great and I think it showed some chinks in the armor of Kenny Omega as far as the developing story not having all of his friends around there and I know you'll you can talk about you know how the the finish happened and, and a little bit of what you talked about last night with Dave about why the finish was good and why it worked on people uh, but I just again I thought it was a great way to end the show and it shows it just shows I think even more we know Kenny Omega is great but it's just to me another notch in Jungle Boy's belt that one, he's able to keep up in the way that he is, and you just see how the crowd reacts to him, and you know he's got bigger and better things that are just going to be coming down the line. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.